गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ यूनिट फोर द वर्कशॉप एक्टिविटी ऑफ द लेसन हाउ द फर्स्ट लेटर वॉज रिटर्न विल बी पोस्टेड लेटर ऑन प्लीज लेसन पार्ट वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन एंड वॉर्मिंग अप एक्टिविटी लेट इज बिगिन आर डे विथ beautiful thoughts when people talk listen completely it indicates whenever somebody is trying to convey something we need to lend our ears and listen to him without any interruption this listening ability has to be developed the skill has to be developed so that we give justice to the person who wishes to convey something the second thought is the most important thing in communication is to hear what is being said let us see uh, the poet of this poem please listen is unknown that is anonymous we don't know who has written this poem in this poem the poet is emphasizing on the important quality that one must possess that is listening the poet is urging to listen instead of giving advice because that is not what he has asked for when we read the poem we understand that there is no rhyme scheme to this poem the poet has used a free conversational style in this poem it is also called free colloquial style let us see the difference between hear and listen hearing is perceiving sound we hear to different sounds but listening is paying careful attention to what we hear let us move on to the warming up activity of the poem please listen children take out your textbooks page number 80 please listen warming up activity first one that is uh, that highlights 20 questions what does it really say form groups of 6 or 8 one person that is leader chooses one item that is a picture a paragraph or a lesson from any one of the nine standard textbooks and writes the reference on a slip of paper and folds it others ask him or her questions and try to guess what it is from his or her answers follow the rules given below the maximum number of questions the rest of the group can ask is 20 you cannot ask a direct question like what do you have in mind you can ask wh questions or yes no questions the leader has to give truthful answers children in this uh, today's situation uh, we are not in the position to form groups you can try to frame different 20 questions based on it individually let us move on to another part of the warming up activity that is agreements and disagreements form pairs list the things on which you have the same opinion and also the one on which you have different opinions prepare a list of 10 things in all and see how far you agree or disagree with your friend some useful useful phrases are given alongside 
you can talk about clothes latest fashion performance of sports person and women sportsmen and women traffic transport in your area cleanliness and hygiene in your area future occupations or careers latest news items tv programs mobile apps any subject of your choice now when we look at this we have got three tables that is agreement i totally agree with you exactly absolutely you are right i don't know i need to think about it partial agreement i suppose so you can ask for your friend's opinion do you think frame the questions based on it do you agree with it what do you think what is your opinion how do you feel about that disagreement no i don't think so i totally disagree not necessarily i'm not sure about that let's agree to disagree now children this is what we are supposed to keep in our mind when we interact with our friends or when we are discussing something next one is i uh, will stop here you can do the warming up activity that is given and in the next video we will be doing that is in the part 2 video we'll be doing the poem explanation Thank you